Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? I want to play some Hearthstone because I want to play some Hearthstone. It's really that simple. Uh, as you guys may have noticed in my earlier video, I'm not really in a great mood at the moment. So I just wanted to play some of this game because I really, really like it. I think it's very fun. Um, Yeah, we're just gonna do regular games though. I'm not really too keen on doing any sort of tavern brawl at the moment. This week's tavern brawl is really, really lame. It's just not very interesting. But yeah, we're gonna play like two or three games, not that much. Just so you guys have a second video, really. Um but yeah. Then I'm gonna go. Just gonna lay down. That's really what I need at the moment. Anyway. So right now, let's see what we've got here. Oh, it's pretty neat actually. We're gonna toss the wisps. I like the Fandral. The cool thing about Fandral is if they can't deal with him, they just kind of lose. <laughs> Which is pretty sick. I mean, you could also play him turn one, which is also pretty sick. <laughs> I think I might go for that. You know, turn one Fandral. If they don't have anything to deal with that, which he doesn't. Um, because he's a hunter. He doesn't really have anything to deal with a turn one Fandral. Um, we win. Which is pretty neat. Unless he has fiery bad into the quick shot or some bullshit like that. But fuck it. We're gonna go for this anyway. It's just too good to not do. Right, like, if this ends up working out for us, we just win. Alright, so we're gonna go Raven Idol immediately. Really hope he doesn't have Quick Shot. I don't think Quick Shot is a keep for a hunter, though. Right, I feel like Quick Shot is something you toss. So the chance of him having one is actually really low. No, he doesn't have it. If he had it, he would have already just Quick Shot it in and hit it. Nope, doesn't have it. See? Cool. Alright. Let's do this. Um <laughs> so <laughs> I don't play any death for a little, so I'll just take the druid here. Uh, I like the mark of the wild a lot actually, that sounds really cool. Yeah. And um I think we actually trade here. Just get rid of that. No if the mark of the wild I can get this guy even stronger. I don't complain, don't be Misha. Nice. Oh. oh. <laughs> Fandrill, why do you have to be so good to me? Ah, oh, man. That's just... Why do you have to be so good to me? That's just beautiful. Thanks for that. Yeah, Raph. Deal for damage to a minion and draw a card. Oh. <laughs> Fandrill is the bomb, man. This guy is amazing. There we go. Quick shot coming out. That's alright. He already did enough damage. Uh, I think we just Maya Keeper. I uh, guess that was a 2 2 slime. No need for the ramp, really, because next turn we're gonna go Nourish anyway. I'm not ramping up to anything. Like, I feel like we got enough plays until we play the Wisps. Okay. That's fine. Right. Um, we'll just go ahead and use all Mark of the Wild, get rid of this. And uh, I think the Wild Growth. Un for no reason in particular other than using a wild growth, right? Like, we can wisps next turn if we want to. I don't really want to. I don't really plan on it, but... I mean, it's better than hero powering. Right? Like, it's it's not, not the worst thing in the world. Okay. I feel like wisps is actually... Ah, the, the problem with wisps against the hunter is just... Ah, it's pretty straightforward, right? It's just... Unleash. Okay, let's just draw... Instead of wisps. Not really a big fan of that. Let's go ahead and do the living roots. Get a bunch of guys out there, and then maybe next time we can like Maya Keeper, Power of the Wild, and then also use the Feral Rage. Actually, no, it's, we don't have enough mana for that, but I'm sure we can figure out some sort of play. I like this deck. This is my favorite deck. It's so cool. Uh, alright. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Man, my deck is good to me right now. Very, very good to me. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that just beautiful? Look at these guys. The next turn, we win. Uh, because we can Scenarius or Wisps of the Old Gods. I mean, he needs to kill this, but how is a hunter going to do that exactly? Uh, I kind of expected something like that. To the face. But funnily enough, right now, the face is not the place and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and finish this game really quick Oof. 
Got him. <laughs> easy peasy. Man, this deck is so cool. Did you see that? Just like complete control from the very beginning. But yeah, starting out with Fandral. Fandral is insane. That card is so good. Like, holy shit. It's actually just godlike, right? Um, it's really one of those cards. If it goes unanswered, you win. That's it. There's like nothing else. A double white growth. Nah, I'm not sure how much I like that, but I guess we'll see. I feel like I should toss one of them. But I don't know, man. That's just tasty. Man, if I get like an inner weight. Oh. Alright, two and two double white growth, inner weight. Yeah, I don't know. Probably not a good idea. Actually, what I should do is I should turn to white growth and then inner weight while the. No, wild teacher in a way white grove. I get those tokens as well. Well, I guess for the time being, we're just gonna wait for a little fellow with here to mulligan for his win axe. I wonder what he is. Uh, warriors these days tend to be. Um... <laughs> Let me look at that. All right, all right, all right. Well, you won't see, you won't catch me complaining about it. They tend to be a uh, temple, right? I have a temple or control. But usually Tempo. This deck wins against Tempo. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and Wild Growth. I'm taking it easy. Oh. Setting up our Wild Teacher for next turn. Yeah, we could also just like, you know, wait into the Wild Teacher. But I don't think we're in that much of a rush yet, are we? Especially since we also just drew a Wrath, so we can just deal with whatever he wants to play. Oh, well, that is actually a problem, isn't it? Okay. I think we ramp a little bit. Hmm. So he's a weapon warrior. But he doesn't have a weapon. He has a pirate warrior. Oh, well, weapon warrior is honestly more accurate. So it's a really aggressive deck. Very aggressive. Uh, that's fine. It's fine. We've got Nourish in hand. we just got to find some time to play it. Okay, that's the weapon. Heroic strike. Oh. Just getting rid of it, okay. Okay. So how much in a rush are we? Ah, beautiful. That's exactly what I needed. Alright. I was contemplating just going for the Nourish, but this is much, much better, right? Like, the problem with the Nourish was really we couldn't play Wrath as well. But yeah. Nah, I'm so glad I got that double. <laughs> double right growth, actually. Uh, well, next turn we have to nourish, probably, right? Like, we just need some more cards. But we have board control, and um, we've got a lot of mana, right? Okay, bash. You're just gonna poke me in the face. Beautiful. Beautiful. Couldn't ask for a better turn, honestly. Like, that is really about as good as it gets for us. I was glad we drew our Feral Rage. That's a card that's gonna be quite handy. Uh, and uh, Raph, okay. Cool. Wisps of the Old Gods is a little tricky to get use out of uh, in, against Warrior because, you know, they have got all of the whirlwind bullshit. So it's, uh, can, it can be a little difficult sometimes, but the thing is, like, if you play Wisps of the Old Gods and they don't have a whirlwind effect, they lose. Like right there. That's just it. <laughs> this is just like, okay, uh, you know what, that sounds, that sounds fine. Um, Scenarius. You know, I'm just gonna hit here and just wisp it up. Wisp it up. Right? And, um... Uh, we'll leave it up to him if he wants to keep them alive. No, oh, he's gonna? Nah, he's gonna whirlwind, isn't he? Brawl! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we'll have a wisp, won't we? Well, it's nice though, right? I've got him to use a brawl. I am happy with that outcome. Because now I can safely scenarios, right, get up my taunt wall and just be okay. Alright, that's the cool thing about that card. It just forces a response. It's so cool. Alright, you play Wisps of the Old Gods, you summon a full board of 1 1s that you can all buff up and turn super nasty, right? Like, we can. I have turned those guys in like 6 6s, like, just complete, completely overwhelming. And, um, it's just kind of. Kind of really neat like that. 
Pretty sure we got this one in the bag. Let's just go ahead and kill that really quick. Oh, look at that. I don't think we need to use our... Our uh, Feral Rage right now. He's eight. He's an 8 mana warrior. He's not going to be able to deal 18 damage from hand. That is just not possible. So we're just going to keep that. You know, we can heal up later. And for now, we're just going to keep applying pressure. Honestly, I feel like we got this in the back. I'm pretty sure we got lethal here, right? This is 6, 10, 16. Or just swipe him in the face and that's going to do it. Yup. No, oh, well, I guess now we also need to living roots, but we all <laughs> we can living roots, Pharaoh rage. We got so many choices here, but one thing we know for sure now is this fall is done. Isn't that nice? Well, yeah, look at that. Boom. <laughs> I love this deck. This is the best deck. Come on, man. As if this isn't the most legit deck in the game. Man, it's so good. It is so good. And it's, I don't know. You just win. Alright, you just clear card. Boom, 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 boom. It plays at such a nice pace. Alright, and the best thing about it is there's a Yogg in there. And that Yogg wins the game if everything else doesn't. So... And it plays at it plays at such a nice pace, right? Like that's really I think the big thing about this deck that makes it so good that it plays at a pace where it's just really like, oh hey, yeah, like we continuously just can like apply pressure and deal with this shit. Right? I don't know. I love this deck. It's like my favorite at the moment. It's so cool. It's probably my favorite of all time, honestly. Um okay. Let me go and get myself a spell. With, no, Raven Idol, you basically always want to get a spell. Um, that's a difficult question, isn't it? I'm going to go ahead and pick the Living Roots. I feel like that's the most universally useful card here. But that was a difficult pick, man. Okay. A Light in the Darkness. So I assume this is not an aggro Paladin. I don't know what this Paladin is, actually. I've never seen a Paladin play a Light in the Darkness. <laughs> um... That's a little tricky, isn't it? Alright, I think I'm just gonna play Thalos. I'll just run him out. Just put him on the board! Oh. Use him to apply a little bit of pressure. <laughs> Alright, that sounds fine with me. Um, Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and Wild Teacher and then trade here. That's why I played Falnos. Right, I just wanted Falnos to be able to trade with his token because now he doesn't really have a good way of dealing with our Wild Teacher. And when, he, uh, when, he, when that's gonna uh, happen, if my opponent doesn't have a good way of dealing with a Wild Teacher, then we just kind of win. Uh, that that sucks. That, that was actually really bad for us. <laughs> All right, uh, we're just gonna kill it. Now the problem is that doesn't that kind of stops me from making the play I actually wanted to play. Yeah, I was looking to power off the wild here, but no, that's that's scary. I gotta deal with that midnight raid. Like I can't leave an eight five on the board, I just gotta get rid of that. Alright. Um This still doesn't tell me anything about a stick. I still don't know at all what this is. Okay, okay, card draw. Card draw. Um that can be literally anything. Okay, I think we just swipe this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need the swipes, so I'm not sure if this is the right play. Right, maybe I should have nourished, but I'm not really in a dire need for cards at the moment. I just wanna keep my tempo going. Right, equality contact, and, um, and clear out the board. Spellbreaker, okay. I still don't know what this deck is. But one thing I know for sure, it's suffering. Oh, oh, hmm, that is so nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and trade. Right, I know, I know, but the thing is, you always gotta keep in mind there's always a chance for a quality concept, right? Or quality pyromancer, or pyromancer, or whatever they are. Humility, okay, right? I just it's a Reno Jackson paladin. Wow. I cannot say I, I expected that. I definitely can't say that. 
I got a while of teacher, my keeper, and a swipe. Hmm. Arena Jackson. Paladin. Well, that's unusual. But that's fine. We already made him use it. So that explains all of the odd cards, right? But I don't really know what to expect of a Reno Jackson Paladin, if I'm completely honest. Um, <laughs> you know what we need right here? We need Harrison Jones, but uh, whatever. Well, hmm. Okay, we're gonna go and play this first. This girl has a spell. We're definitely mulching this. Power of the Wild, Wild Growth Nourish. Um, I think we're gonna go with the Nourish, actually. Okay, and just attack him here. Ah, he's not gonna Power of the Wild, probably, actually. I'm not sure about the Nourish anymore. I don't know, but yeah, there's really no way we get around the Ashbringers. I probably will, I won't be surprised if this guy also plays in a soft. Honestly, I would be more surprised if he doesn't play in a soft. Alright, I mean, gotta fill your deck up anyway, so might as well. Okay, that stinks a lot. <laughs> um, hmm, cool. We'll just keep nourishing here. Scenarius, alright, Power of the Wild, and Living Roots. Oh, I can, like, double Living Roots. Mm. That doesn't feel nice, does it? I mean, I think my best place would just, just swipe and trade. Right, I mean, I gotta get rid of Ragnaros, right? But I can always double living roots and then like power of the wild or living roots and scenarios. Get some nice dudes on the board. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm just saying that uh, you gotta deal with this guy. Uh, that's really not simple. The problem is like this weapon is really fucking us right now. Okay, justice. Yes, it says we get it. Justice. <laughs> Everybody gets it. And how is Golem? That is definitely also the soft. Okay, let's summon a tutu slime. Let's summon another tutu slime. Um, so what we're gonna have to do here, I think, is we're just gonna have to keep going at his face, and then hope that Yog carries us, right? Just like be aggressive, you know, apply pressure, and then hope that Yog pull, pulls through. Um, I don't know, like. There's a chance he has the soft already, but I feel like if he had it, I don't know. Actually, he doesn't tell me anything. Okay. I like this play. So far, I'm still happy with it. Concept. Okay, now it's not that nice anymore. Um, Funnel Cakes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Funnel Cakes. Hmm. It's going to be tricky, isn't it? Okay, let's play all the saplings. And then we living roots here. Alright. Then we innovate into scenarios. And we summon these guys. And uh, just hit his face. I don't know, maybe we should have buffed and like traded for the funnel cakes. But I mean, I... I want some funnel cakes, man. <laughs> right, so he used a concept. That must be his only concept. I guess his only true server. Hmm. Okay, that's probably a like, peacekeeper. Or not in my house. Okay. Guess not on your house. Okay, we got wisps. Hmm. Naturally. Hmm. I think I need to nourish. Okay, savage war, white growth, that doesn't do anything. Ah, oh, look at that, double white growth, that doesn't help us at all. <sighs> savage war, I can clear the board. I can draw another card of the white growth. The cool thing about the white growth, though, is that they. Um, give me the option of casting a spell. 
Which I, I know sounds a little bit silly, but like for Yog. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. This may be a mistake. Right? But I kind of want to bait him into playing the Saw so I can Yog and then pray to Yog. Rag. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna take some damage here. That's okay. I can deal with that. Hmm. I feel like it would have been a really good turn from the Saw, so I'll just assume he doesn't have it. Right? Let's just go. Okay, these are dead. So I guess we just hit face, right? And we can end turn. Alright. Um, swipe? Nice, I like the swipe. We're definitely killing that rag. Oh, nice. Got him taunted up. Counter spell. Oh, very good. Divine favor, that doesn't do anything. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit. That's what we needed, man. Alright. There goes rag. Trial, mulch. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not what I needed, though. Lay on hands, and we're gonna... Oh, fuck. Well, actually, we have more cards. <laughs> a whole bunch of racks now. Holy shit, alright. You know, fine. This is all pointless. Ah, oh, well, we got a bunch of secrets, though. I'm very happy with these. <laughs> and a bunch of racks. <laughs> Look at this, man. Would have been happy if I'd gotten the sauce, though. Well, that's that's fine with me, actually. Okay. That's irritating. I guess we just summon a bunch of wisps. Right? Man, I, actually that's very annoying that he has Sylvanas. <laughs> After your opponent has at least three minions placed in them and destroys. Oh wait! Wait, it's gonna kill this guy, isn't it? <laughs> That's funny. Alright, we just I just need to kill Savannah's. Without losing a rag. That's the entire point of this exercise. Patron. <laughs> Where do you get that from? Mulch. Okay. Cool. Um Alright, we are out of cards. I think we just do this, and then I can trade him. Probably don't want to trade him. Just hit here and uh, play a rag. I mean, I got, I got a bunch of them. <laughs> right? And I still got a counter spell. That's nice. Okay, what is that? Peacekeeper? But well, that doesn't really matter. Rag now, does it? Uh, except for trading into it. Yeah, that makes sense. Mmm, that sucks. Uh, he's actually getting patrons online now. Can't be serious about that. Alright, um... Probably want to trade into this, actually. Just go face. I mean, I really wish I had gotten... Yog. Of that... Of that, uh... That gang up. Man, if I had just like three more Yogs to play, I would be so sick. I'm pretty sure that would actually win me the game. Oh, actually, no, that would kill me. Like, I would draw so many cards. <laughs> Alright. Uh, if you attack there, you take two more damage to the face. He loses the patron, but doesn't really matter because it gets replaced. I mean, honestly, Yogg shooting his face is the best outcome for me. Not Yogg, uh, Rag shooting his face is really the best outcome for me. That's what I want. Koda. Right. Nice. Okay. Pyromancer. Alright, um... Well, we have to trade here. And, um... This is not enough to kill me, but... I need Rag to shoot his face. Shit. I think we lost. <laughs> Unless he makes some kind of fatal mistake. 
Really, his best play is to just trade in. That's the last thing I've got. Aw, oh, Forza, I don't have anything to deal with him. I can get that past Dust Dingo, but... Right, like, I can... I can still do this. But I don't have anything for him. Damn it, we got so close! Man, if that gang up was only on Yogg, that would have been so cool. Alright, well, we'll leave it at that. That was a fun last game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you tomorrow. Goodbye.